Greetings today from the Source NY Meta Energy Studio in Poughkeepsie, New York. I'm Dr. Stacey Lamar on this Friday, August 18th, 2023, coming to you with a message about star energy today. A few weeks ago, I spoke about the moons, and I want to use the colors behind me to help to explain and discuss star system, star energy. Those of us that, that identify as star seeds, certainly my book is uh, titled Star Seed, which gets questions from people. You know, how do you feel that you are from the star seed realm, from that energy system? How we self-identify, I've discussed before many, many times. It is a big topic right now because humanity is shifting and new generations and even old generations are coming out of uh, the closets, literally, and being who they feel they are. Really big push now in transgender and in different ways that people want to be identified because they think the um, limitations of male and female no longer apply. I'm not here to discuss that and get into big debate. I want to talk about star energy. And really, it is, it, it, this is biblical. This is thousands of years ago where uh, civilizations looked toward the stars, discovered stars and the star systems and planets, and believed that their creators came from the stars. Uh, you know, major religions today look to the stars and use the stars in the heavens in their in their um, doctrine that we are from the energies out in the sky all right native american tribes look to the stars uh, inuits um, uh, aboriginals all right so that's this is not new information as a nurse practitioner and certainly as a doctor in public health i go out on a limb when i will say to you point blank i do believe that my dna has star system energy in it. I do not believe that I'm limited to just human. And that has been discussed with me. I've been in uh, um, videos and documentaries before discussing that with other contemporaries, right? Star energy, looking to the stars, feeling connected to them. It's an incredibly liberating feeling to know that we are more than just human, right? Let me look to the bottles for a moment. I'm using the star tarot card. So this is Orsoma bottle 17. It's called the Troubadour bottle. It's violet and green, but it is connected to the star tarot card. Let me show you that so you can see. This is the tarot card. I want to kind of put it in a spot where you can see it, bring it a little closer. That's the Orsoma tarot card. I think Pamela Matthews is the artist on these. So take a look at that and see how you feel. The outward journey of the star. Knowing that you're of service, knowing that you have a purpose of healing, knowing that you are here to bring higher knowledge to others that is related to um, the fact that we are not just human, the fact that we are greater than and that there is more to what makes us who we are and what makes this world who we are, right? Feeling that your life purpose is here to be in service to others is certainly a um, common thread for those that believe they come from the stars and have star energy, or star seeds, okay? In the return journey in the Orosoma collection, Archangel Gabriel is the return journey, bottle number 95, and I'm going to show you that bottle real briefly. Let me show you that. That card, I mean, Archangel Gabriel. And take a look at these cards, stop and pause and see if anything really connects with you and just really helps to strike um, memories for you, okay? In the star realm, we believe we are here with DNA within us that will prove someday that we are connected to the star systems, that there are different star planetary systems out there, star systems, Pleiadians, um, Syrians, Andromedans, Lyrans, different energy systems and that, that those tribes from above are, are within us in our DNA. I hesitate to go any further than that right now because the debate is out there and there are many other YouTube videos that can support that. What I'm here to say to you today is that when you're speaking your truth and owning your truth, you have to align with and be in the power that makes you comfortable, especially during uncomfortable situations, okay? My truth is that I am a starseed, okay? 
I own it, I honor it, I live for it. My purpose in life as being a nurse, nurse midwife, nurse practitioner has always been of service to others. I know no one, no other way. My life has always been that way. For my smallest, smallest days, I knew that I was going to be in some kind of healing occupation with others, right? I look to and I seek counsel from the energies around me that are my guides and guardians from other star systems and from the star system that I came from, from Pleiades, where I believe I come from. And I look to the angelic realm, the star realm, the light realm, all those wonderful light energies that are around us that help to guide me. How do I do that each day? I meditate. I disconnect from all the chaos and all the drama of society. I close it all out and I go inward and in my vibrational shifts, working with meditation and energy clearing, I am able to actively communicate, not passively, actively communicate with energetic beings around that allow and give me messages to help keep me safe, help keep me um, working in my mission and purpose and here to remain in service. Okay. Star energy is a light energy. It is an energy that wants to do good for others. Star seeds want to help. Light workers want to help. We want to be in the trenches of, of whatever causes we believe we are aligned to work with. For me, it's been humans. For others, it's animals. It's the environment. Whatever. They're all good causes, right? We have an inner knowing, an inner wisdom that this is right and this feels right. And we are now owning our power and going out and using social media as an active platform to communicate with others and to develop friendships and relationships with others because it's been an isolating journey without social media. It's been very isolating for people to, to own their truth. That's why right now there is such a mass shift in self identity issues because social media is helping others to be able to connect together that might have been otherwise isolated. All right. And that's a beautiful thing. I mean, social media has its downsides. It can be used for dark purposes too, but it does have the upside. It is used in the right way and an opportunity for us to connect and be with each other and support each other. Okay. I use color energy. I use the Orosoma bottles to help heal, to help strengthen myself and to help me to move forward every day in my mission and purpose. But my mission and purpose foundation is that I am a star energy. I am a star child. My roots are from the Pleiades and I am here to be of service as a nurse practitioner, as a doctor in public health, as an entrepreneur, the things that I do as a healer and as a mentor to others that are coming into their own and trying to figure out what the right fit is for them, where they really fall on this crazy planet of ours. So it's about the star energy today. Take a look in the stars and embrace the sky. Feel the power within you that gets stirred up when you take time to disconnect from all the chaos of society and look above and feel that energy and absorb it. I will talk to you again next week. Have a great week. God bless.